briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2002, the United States District Court for the Eastern District of New York heard the case Tesser v. Board of Education of the City School District of the City of New York. The case centered on the principle that claimants alleging job discrimination or retaliation must prove the ill treatment was due to something illegal. Gilda Tesser, a former assistant principal, filed a lawsuit against her former employers, claiming religious discrimination and retaliation. Tesser argued that she had been mistreated based on her religion and that she had faced retaliation for speaking out about it. However, the jury sided with the defendants, and Tesser's subsequent motion for a new trial was denied by the court. The court held that Tesser had not sufficiently proven any discrimination or retaliation on the part of the defendants. During the trial, it was revealed that Tesser had been appointed as assistant principal in charge of PS 177 in Community School District 21 by Defendant Superintendent Weber, who believed Tesser would eventually be promoted to the principal. Despite this, the court concluded that Tesser failed to meet her burden of persuasion, and her reasons for requesting a new trial were insufficient. As a result, Tesser's motion was denied in its entirety. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.